Day 6, AP Physics Homework, uh, number 58, page 120, Conservation Momentum. So we have this astronaut with equipment, camera, and a backpack. He throws the camera, at, uh, which has a mass of 1 kilogram backwards, so to speak, at 15 meters per second. So the initial momentum is zero before the throwing. So after the throwing, the momentum must be also zero. So if you look at this, I have the picture. For the camera, the momentum backwards, or to the left, is just m times v, because momentum is m times v. It's 1 times 15. You can do that in your head, obviously. So the backwards momentum is 15 kilograms meters per second. So that must be the momentum of the astronaut forward. So in other words, we have 15 equals the mass, but right now the mass is 100. It's 90 plus 10 is 100 times, let's call it V1. So V1 will be well, 0 0.15 meters per second towards the right. All right, so that's the increase in speed for that first part. Now, the increase in speed for the second part, which you kind of assume, now let's, let's, basically we're starting from scratch again. If I know that the astronaut's moving, but if we just t treat the before and after, we want to look at the comparison. So if we assume essentially kind of like part A where you have the astronaut holding the backpack, total mass of 100, and you want to see what the change is. So what happens is if she or he, let's say it's a she, she throws the backpack of 10 kilograms backwards and it says at 10 meters per second this way. All right, she's going to pick up some speed for, in a forward direction. So her gain in speed, let's figure that out, call that, uh, technically I could call that delta V. That should have been a delta V if we assume the, the V initial was zero. Uh, that's also the final speed with respect to, say, outer space. So we have our delta V. 2. And if we assume that V2 initial is 0, okay, this is the gain in speed. So we're ignoring the first part of the problem right now. So backwards, let's call this P3, just for reference. Well, that's 10 times 10 is 100. 100 units of momentum backwards. So the astronaut, she must gain, okay, that was the delta P, backwards for the backpack, or the battery, I should say. So the astronaut must pick up 100 more units of momentum, and the mass now of the astronaut's 90 times the delta V2. Once again, I don't have to call it delta V2, just V2 with respect to a zero reference frame there. So delta V2 is 100 divided by 90, which is what? 1.1 meters per second. So that's the gain in speed for the second part. So the total gain in speed will be 1.25-ish meters per second.